second, we're jumping back into college football here. And, by the way, you want our college football content? Go over to sbrpicks.com slash CFB. Knock that thing out. Sportsbookreview.com is where we will have all of our college football coverage going forward starting in next week. We're going to have a whole lot of time to uh, to discuss all the biggest topics and whatnot. And all of our picks previews and whatnot will be over there as far as the college football season goes. So, sbrpicks.com slash CFB. Uh, Tennessee is banning on-campus tailgating, and they are significantly cutting uh, capacity at their uh, their stadium, Neyland Stadium. It, this isn't a big surprise, but Chancellor Plowman broke the news on Thursday, said that, uh, you know, they're going to go forward. We're going forward with football in the SEC. But, you know, eh, it is what it is. Um, I, I was a little surprised by, by having no tailgating on campus because you uh, and I have talked about that These guys tailgate before. on the river anyway. Well, that's... That won't be happening this year because that is on campus right there. So, no, that water's not. Uh, well, no, hey, the Vol Navy will be able to do whatever they want to do. That's what I'm saying. But that they'll be social distance. But if you've ever been to Knoxville, like they have got tailgates. I, un- I understand. There'll just be a whole lot more people on the water. Hey, maybe so. Uh, Michael, this is how by the casinos way, casinos used to work back in the day. It was against the law. You backed that boat up about eighty feet. And, and we're and good. It's no longer against the law. No uh, longer against the law. Let's see. They said. Uh, we have questions about fans in Neyland Stadium and whether tailgating will be banned. Uh, we don't know what will happen with football yet. We're hopeful the team will get to play. We are planning on it right now. If they do, it will not be to a full stadium. There will likely be significantly reduced capacity. If we do play football, we won't have tailgating on campus. Football has no bearing on whether or not classes transition or move to online. So, um, you know, I mean, they're, they're still going to be doing their thing. And, and like you said, uh, they will be on the lake with the Vol Navy pulling up to the stadium, but it is yet another reminder that the fall season is uh, is going to be unlike any other in recent memory. Uh, Michael said, "Like videos- I said, when I watched when I watched the PGA event this past weekend, I learned real quickly that you can keep players from facilities, but fans from facility, but you can't keep them from from the outer edges, man. Oh, yeah. There were thousands upon thousands of people lined up in San Francisco around that golf course." Fence with a screen over it. Thousands of fans still lined up, screaming, cheering, rooting for their guys. You got and it. and that's that is they're gonna go right to the edge where they're allowed, and then they're gonna be there. Uh Michael said the videos look great on SBR guys. Um we appreciate Thank that. You. He he likes the top ten stuff. Uh Mark said that he heard that Jack, uh the A D at Notre Dame might let students in for uh for the games. I saw, I saw that by Notre Dame. They're thinking about letting students only. You got it. You got Which it. I appreciate. I'll tell you this. I know everyone's saying season ticket holders need to be. If I was a season ticket holder, I'd be upset if I wasn't allowed and other people were. But as long as I, I'm not charged for it, like Penn State, and I get my money back, I'm okay with students being allowed if anybody is. If anybody is in the actual stands, I think it should be the students. If I think if they should get about- first option. Then season ticket holders second option. I'm I'm still totally fine with the people that have the sky boxes and whatnot. Hey, oh, pay, pay God, your money yeah. and get in. Yeah, there is no. Re- I'll tell you this: there's no reason for students and like the majority, like at least fifty percent of season ticket holders. Season ticket holders aren't filling up eighty thousand seat stadiums, hundred thousand seat stadiums. Okay? Uh, they they are at some of the bigger schools. You know, well, true. That's that's but, true. That's true. That's true. But but, but not at all of them. I mean, not just, at all of them. I I think there's a way. These places are massive. When you hold 100,000 people like Neyland Stadium does, I mean, you could let 30,000 people in and you wouldn't know anybody was there. Hey, this is true. This so, is true. Uh, I think there's no reason to not open it up, at least to the students, and then all, you're right about the sky boxes. Any box has got to be open. Just let them open. Uh, Mark said there's only 8,500 students at Notre Dame and there's 85,000 seats. Thousand seats, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, There's no. there's no doubt. All of those students are welcome and encouraged to come. The Brown Yeti said, so tailgating was good, but not letting them in the stadium. Um, I mean, you know, like it, they they didn't say anything about it before. We'll just say that. So Michael said, at this point, just eliminate fans being at the games. I will happily watch from my couch, and I'll I'm, be in I'm college with you on that. I, like I said, we're going to make a lot of compromises this season to oh, get yes. anything. You've got I'm that willing right. to throw all these things out the window. Uh, Mark said they can go 19 seats apart. Uh, if they just let students in, I'll, I will guarantee you students That's will not be sitting 
19 seats apart. They will be in a group of, of people. Like, well, yeah, like if you've got – so fraternities and Ole Miss is a big thing, and like all the frat guys all uh, sit the SEC, together for yeah, their the own SEC individual frat. They all live together. They can't all sit together. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. It, that that will happen. If they let students in, it, they're all going to be joined in in one section. and it's All in the end zone so they can get louder for the red zone. You got it. You got it. All right. That will wrap up today's show unless anything else is broken. Have you seen anything? That's it, brother. That is it. All right. You guys are fantastic. Uh, Brown Yeti said there will be a lot of game day parties. You have got that right. We are uh, we are going to be rocking and rolling. College football lives on for another day. If you want to see our college football coverage, sbrpicks.com slash CFB. You can find us over at sportsbookreview.com over on their YouTube page. Mark said, love you guys. Hey, we love you guys as well. Everybody that jumped in the chat, we appreciate you. Go and hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed. Share the show out with your friends. Subscribe to the podcast, of course, and leave a nice five-star review. That helps out more than you would know. Obviously, the show is free. So, all you got to do just to help us out, go leave a nice five-star review on the podcast over at Apple Podcasts. That, uh, that helps us out more than you would know. You guys have been fantastic, as always. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we will see you tomorrow. That's the wrong one. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.